for us to find the sum of the given series, which we will do using a known power series for one of the functions listed below. Notice the denominator is 2n plus 1 factorial, which is also the denominator for the power series for sine x, which means we will manipulate the given series to fit the power series for sine x to determine this infinite sum. Notice the numerator is x raised to the power of 2n plus 1, and we have 16 raised to the power of n plus 2. We need the coefficient of this n to be 2, not 1, and therefore the first step will be to write 16 as 4 squared. The given series is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 raised to the power of n times 4 squared raised to the power of n plus 2 all over 2n plus 1 factorial. Notice now we have powers raised to powers, which means now we can multiply the exponents. Again, using the exponent rule, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So this series is equal to the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one raised to the power of n. And then here, when we multiply the exponents, we distribute the two, giving us 2n plus four. So we have four raised to the power of 2n plus four, again, still all over 2n plus one factorial. Now looking back at the power series for sine x, we want it to be in the form of x raised to the power of 2n plus one, and we have four raised to the power of 2n plus four. Let's rewrite this exponent as 2n plus one plus three which gives us the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one raised to the power of n times four raised to the power of two n plus one. And then we still have plus three though, because the exponent is two n plus four. But now we can rewrite four raised to the power of two n plus one plus three using the exponent rule a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m plus n. Using this exponent rule, we can rewrite this as four raised to the power of two n plus one times four raised to the power of three or four cubed. Let's go ahead and do that. We have the sum from n equals zero to infinity. We can have negative one raised to the power of n and then times four raised to the power of 2n plus one times four cubed all over 2n plus one factorial. Again, if we multiply here, because the bases are the same, we add the exponents, which does give us four raised to the power of 2n plus four. Also notice in this form, four cubed is not affected by n, which means we can now factor out four cubed and write this as four cubed times the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one raised to the power of n times four raised to the power of two n plus one all over two n plus one factorial. Again, comparing this series to the power series for sine x, we now have a perfect match where x is equal to four and therefore this series is equal to sine four giving us the product four cubed sine four for the infinite sum of the given series. And four cubed is equal to 64. Let's write this as 64 sine four. Let's also get a decimal approximation for this value. Using the calculator, we do wanna make sure we are in radian mode to evaluate sine four. Let's press mode. The calculator is in degree mode right now. We go down to the third row, highlight radian, press enter. And now go back to the home screen by pressing second quit, and we enter 64 sine four, which gives us approximately negative 48.4354. While this is the decimal approximation, it is always best to give the exact value when possible. I hope you found this helpful.